Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, we're going to show you how you can use the functions inside of chat completions in order to capture the user's context, also be able to capture additional parameters and stuff like that. So the way function work inside chat completions of UChat is a little bit different than from the OpenAI developer docs. So instead of connecting to external API software and stuff like that, you will be able to connect any intent that you set up under the intent detection system that we have currently inside of uh, UChat itself. So if you go towards the chatbot automations tab, from here you will see that you will have an intent tab, which also relates towards functions. So any intent that you create can be used inside the functions of chat completions. So what exactly does this mean? That means that even if the auto intent detect is disabled here, so no, no automatic intents are being detected, you can still use those same intents to complete chat completions. And the way this works, uh, as an example, we have an appointment booking here, as you can see. And if we take a look inside the appointment booking, I'm going to capture three parameters. I need the date, I need the time, and I need the description, right? So those three are both required. Then, soon as those have been captured inside the chat completion, a so-called function call will be made to complete the chat completion itself. So. Let's take a look at a simple flow that I built. Basically this flow, which you can see here, the first step is just clearing the chat history from ChatGPT because we need to have the chat history enabled in order to basically loop around inside the chat completion until all parameters have been captured and then we will be able to output it. So I have a simple question after clearing the chat history. This is just for testing purposes, of course. You can also set this, um, this flow as your default reply if you like to. And then inside the chat completion is where the magic happens. So if we go there, you will see that if we go towards the chat completion itself, really simple system message. In this case, I'm just using one specific function just for testing purposes. And that system message states, you are to use the correct function and capture all the user's parameters. If you do not have all the data, request the remaining parameters. Do not finish the function call unless all parameters have been captured, right? So what I currently am doing is inside, if we just clear the functions, if we press the drop down, you will see all the intents that I set up inside of my own chatbot. You can let ChatGPT decide this way, which one to trigger correctly and where to capture the parameters from if you have any whatsoever. In this case, just going with a really simple example and let's go with the appointment booking instead. It is important to also enable remember the history. So the chat history with chat, uh, with chat GPT in order to get any follow-up questions basically up and going. For this model, it is recommended to have GPT-4. Everyone should have access towards this model if you have made one successful payment with your OpenAI account. So if OpenAI was, uh, was able to successfully fulfill one payment, you should also have access towards GPT-4. Uh, it is again recommended to use this model because it's a little bit more stable and recognizes the functions a little bit better than the 3.5 model. For the max tokens, I'm just going to leave it at default. The temperature I'm going to set to 0.4. And the reason for this is that it will allow the model to listen a little bit more closely to the instructions inside the system message. Then the rest I'm just going to leave as is. And as you can see, I'm going to map three really important sections, which we will get to in just a second. So first of all, let's go with an example. And let's say I want to book an appointment for, let's say October 10th, right? If we test the request, ChatGPT should now answer or basically ask the next parameter that we enabled inside the intent itself. So we now have the date, as we can see, I want to book an appointment for October 10. And now it should, by logic, request the time. So if we're going to take a look, as you can see, it actually basically asked the remaining parameters. So sure, I can help with that. Could you please provide me with the time you'd like to book the appointment for and a description of the appointment? Right? So if I'm first going to just give the description, so let's say uh, because I want to talk about a new project, then let's say test the request now. So as you can see, ChatGPT is now asking for the last parameter. Sure, I can help you with that. However, I need the exact time for the appointment. Could you please provide that? So before I'm going to do that, I will first want to map this specific section message content. I want to map that towards a custom field. And as you can see, I did so with the ChatGPT response. That's a custom field that I use. The next part that I want to map is the finish reason. Because the finish reason is a really important one to check after this chat completion. 
currently it is set to stop because it's just asking for the next question, right? The last one, we cannot map directly now, but if I'm going to give an example of a test data capturing all the parameters, then we will be able to map this. So let's also give the time, right? So let's say I want to book an appointment for October 10 at 10 a.m. because I want to talk about a new project. I'm giving all the three parameters now. So if I'm going to test this, so if we take a look now, you'll see that the finish region is function underscore call. So that is one that we can now map properly, as you can see here, because it now allows us to get all the specific details. So if we are going to take a look under the function call itself, so we now under the function call, we have the appointment booking and we have the date, October 10, time, 10 a.m. description, I want to discuss a new project. So this is now being completed. So that is the reason why we need to map the finish reason, but also capture all of the data of the function call, right? So the arguments in this case. So we're going to map that towards a specific uh, field. In this case, it's the booking details. Then in the next step, we are going to check the chat finish reason. If the chat finish reason is a function call, that means that all the parameters have been captured for that specific intent. And that means that we can basically output those data directly towards the user. We can also save them into special custom fields of our own choosing with using the action uh, set variable, right? But if we take a look here, I just went ahead and just mapped all the data. So the data that comes in is in this format, as you can see here. So we have date and then we have time and then we have description, right? So all you need to do is just to have to go with the dollar sign dot date to map the date. And if you want to map the time, we are going to say dollar sign dot time. And in this case, description is with the lower capital because I did so inside the intent itself. And that would look like this if I want to map that. When doing so, you will see that we have these three different outputs, right? So if the chat finish reason is not function call, then that means we did not capture all the parameters. And in that case, we still need to request them. So let's give a preview towards this section and let's see how this works. So let's test out this new setup. So let's say uh, I want to book an appointment at 5 p.m. on December 6. So let's see if we get the next follow-up question. And as you can see, the last parameter that needs to be captured is the description of the meeting or the appointment. So let's say I want to discuss a new project on chatbot development. So let's see if we now get the output of the booking details, right? So this specific note. And as you can see, because the function call is now finished, we get the booking details December 6, 5 p.m. and then discuss a new project on chatbot development. So this is the way that you can use functions inside of chat completions. And uh, do take note that this is not a foolproof system uh, to automatically detect the correct intent, but also to capture all the parameters. We have seen several tests that not all the time all parameters are requested, even though they are required inside that specific intent. Um, so you will need to do a lot of testing and be sure that you captured all the details. If not, redirect it back towards the chat completion in order to let basically chat GPT ask the next question until you have all the parameters in place. But as you can see, this is a setup that you can use. You can create intents. You can use those intents inside of functions of chat completions instead of on a chatbot level. You can do it now on a flow level. So if the intent of the user is to book an appointment or for real estate is to look at housing or to sell the property, you can capture the additional parameters in advance and then be able to forward the user back towards the next section of the flow. So do try out the functions. If you run into any issues, do let us know and we will be happy to help you out. For now, have a great day. Take care and talk soon.